With the help of a bit of new hardware, all versions of the Stex throttle can be attached to the UCM system. In this guide, we'll be demonstrating this process using a Stex Mini Plus. The steps are very similar for all other versions, besides the Stex Mini, because of its lack of an MFH connector. In order to perform this procedure, you'll need the following. A specific UCM base plate for your model of Stex, the UCM universal mounting plate and its included hardware, a small Phillips head screwdriver, and a 2mm hex key. Grab your Stex. Let's start by removing the screws and tossing the desktop plate aside. For throttles featuring an MFH connector, there are six screws and recessed holes to get at. Unscrew these screws and then unplug the cable from the USB board to extract the assembly. When disconnecting internal cables, do so gently, avoiding any unnecessary wiggling. We'll now be transferring the USB board to a new cover. Unscrew the three tiny screws holding the board to the cover, and then carefully separate them. In the included baggies, you can find spare screws, the new cover, and some other things that will be relevant later. Install the USB board to the new cover with the same three screws. We'll be reusing the screws for the cover too. Use four of the old cover screws to seat the new cover in its place and then plug the connector back into the USB board. Before attaching the base plate to the throttle, you'll need to link the plates together. You'll want to grab your flathead screws, washers, and drilled nuts. Start by inserting the flathead screw into the Stex plate and then connecting it with the universal plate. If we spin the universal plate 90 degrees from its proper orientation, you'll notice the screw holes in the middle of the throttle plate become accessible. Take this time to add a screw into it. Back to the exposed end of the first screw. Drop in a spring washer, a flat washer, and then the knurled nut. Screw the nut down partially, but do not tighten down quite yet. Now, we will attach the base plate to the stacks. With the stacks upside down, get the screw holes lined up between the throttle base plate and the stacks housing. Start from the screw we had prepared earlier, in the center of the plate, and then add the four corner screws, swiveling the universal plate as necessary to access the holes. Screw down the screws evenly in a crisscross pattern, rather than fully tightening down any one screw all at once. After the base plate has been secured in place, let's finish off the securing of the base plates to each other. Notice the threaded insert in the middle of the universal plate. We'll be giving this the same treatment as the first plate-to-plate -plate attachment. Screw the barrel head screw in, bottoms up, then from the top, drop in the spring washer, the flat washer, and the knurled nut. After adjusting the angle to your preference, make sure you tighten down both knurled nuts. Finally, 
you're ready to attach the whole assembly to your UCM using the four screws, tuning the tilt and positional adjustments as needed. For more information on UCM installation, check out our UCM guide found in the description below.